In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can use ChatGPT to perfect your prompts and turn them from bad ones to perfect ones without the need of actually creating the perfect prompt. There is a way how you can make ChatGPT detect your prompt, analyze it, and then make ChatGPT write a perfect prompt for you and answer it all behind the scenes so you never have to worry about knowing how to write good prompts ever again. We are going to be using ChatGPT plugins, so make sure that you have them installed in your profile. I have a video that explains step by step how you can turn them on in your profile, so make sure to check that video out. I'm going to link it down below in the description. Okay, so the first thing is that you want to go to plugins. We are going to be using a plugin called Prompt Perfect. If you don't have this plugin here in this drop down menu, you simply go to plugin store and then you go to all. And unfortunately, they still don't have this search bar anywhere here. So you have to list through the pages, but you should find a plugin called Prompt Perfect. You want to select it with the tick on the right. This means that the plugin is going to be used continuously in this chat. You can see that the there is a very vague description here and unfortunately with these plugins it's just one simple sentence usually in the description that describes the plugin so you don't necessarily know how to use the plugin yet and so the first thing i always love to do with these plugins is that we are just going to ask ChatGPT to explain what this plugin does so what does this plugin do you will see that you don't have to specifically type the plugin name or anything because we currently are using it in our chat. It automatically knows which plugin we are talking about. If we chose multiple plugins, which is also an option to choose um, in one chat, then you would need to specifically name what does the perfect plugin do. All right, so it came up with a description for us. So the rephrase plugin is designed to improve the quality of ChatGPT's responses by rephrasing user inputs. It takes user input, evaluates it, and if necessary, transforms it into a clearer, more specific and contextual prompt. This rephrased input is then used to generate a more accurate and relevant response from ChatGPT. The user can initiate the plugin by typing perfect. The plugin processes a JSON object containing the user input to be rephrased and uses the ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo model for the rephrasing process. The rephrase input is then returned as a raw data to be incorporated into ChatGPT's response. All right, so we right now have the exact description of what it does. Also, what I love to do with these plugins is to always write me an example of how the prompt can look like. So let's say, write me five different prompt examples that can be used with this plugin in, let's say, in the field of marketing. All right, so if you have a prompt that you are not 100% sure that it's the right way how you can ask it, it's then going to rephrase it uh, behind the scenes for you and answer it for you. So what this essentially is doing is that it takes your prompt, then it analyzes, then it rewrites it and creates a new prompt for you. And then it also makes it answer the prompt for you. So you get the answer essentially for your bad prompt that you start with. All right, so let's just start and do a first example. So as they write here in this description, they are saying that the user can initiate the plugin by typing perfect. We are starting with perfect. And then let's, for the sake of this video, write a how to set up a marketing strategy for a small business using all the necessary, the field of marketing. All right, so here you can see that I am following the structure. We firstly have the uh, perfect, which you have to write before. Then you have your prompt. And this one, uh, intentionally, I made it kind of vague with, I'm not really sure what I have to include in this prompt when I talk about marketing. So I wrote down using all the necessary stuff in the field of marketing. And so I'm not mentioning specifically uh, what to include because let's assume for the sake of this video that I don't have the knowledge about it. 
And then I also write, please include the original prompt as well as the new rephrase one. So I'm going to send this. All right, and right now it's writing the, the answer. So we have the original prompt, which is how to set up a marketing strategy for a small business using all the necessary stuff in the field of marketing. And then we have a rephrase prompt that it came up with behind the scenes for us. And it says, what are the essential steps and tools required to develop a comprehensive marketing strategy for a small business utilizing all relevant aspects of the marketing field. This prompt is 10 times better than the original one and I did not have to do anything. You can see that the behind the scenes, if you click on this small error, it was uh, firstly using the text I wrote down. So that was how to set up the marketing strategy for small business using all the necessary stuff in the field of marketing. And then it also generated the so-called rephrased one behind the scenes. So you can see that it came up with a longer um, prompt that is more specific. It's using basically the words that we were missing in our original one. And then it seems like it's also trying to elaborate a little bit more when it says utilizing all relevant aspects of the marketing field. Then we get the answer automatically. So this is the, the best part. It also gives you the answer um, for that prompt that it generated for you. So market research is the first step, um, understand the target audience, their needs and preferences. We then have define your goals, outline what you want to achieve with your marketing strategy, budget planning, marketing mix, four pieces, product place, price, promotion, um, decide on the product service you are offering, its price, where it will be available and how you will promote it. Choosing marketing channels is the fifth step. Depending on your target audience, choose the most effective channels for your marketing. And then it elaborates more like using social media, email marketing, SEO, content strategy, develop a content strategy that aligns with your brand and appeals to your target audience. And then the last step is measure and adjust. Use analytics tools to track the success of your marketing efforts based on the results, adjust your strategy as needed. So here what we actually did it's kind of funny because we don't even have to think about the prompt at this point. We're getting into a phase where AI can detect what we are thinking about and then create its perfect prompt for it and then give us an answer for that. All right, let's do another example. So let's assume that here we don't even have a the prompt in the form of question. Perfect. Um, I am interested in knowing all the necessary stuff and steps about how I can invest money. The prompt is working and if we click on the arrow once again we can see that it's starting with the text that we wrote after the word perfect. Then the second step it rephrased. So let's actually see what it rephrased it to. The rephrased prompt is, could you please provide me with a thorough explanation of all the essential information and procedures required for investing money? Then it's uh, started to generate the answer for us as well. So the first step is to set a clear financial goals. Before you start investing, it's important to know what you are investing for. Are you saving for retirement, a down payment on a house? your child's education or something else. Then uh, the second step is create a budget. The third one is establish an emergency fund, understand different investment options, diversify your investments, consider your risk tolerance, regularly review and adjust your portfolio is the seventh step. And the last step is uh, seek professional advice. If you are new to investing, it can be helpful to seek advice from a financial advisor. They can help you understand your options and make informed decisions. Remember, investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal, and it's important to do thorough research and consider seeking advice from a financial professional before making any investment decisions. So this is um, this is great actually because we did not even have a question in our mind with this prompt and it was able to look into what we were kind of thinking about then it created a new rephrase prompt behind the scenes and answered it for us all right let's do a third one perfect what are the things that make people buy products it's uh, using right now the, the prompt uh, behind the scenes. We can see, uh, see it again by clicking on the arrow down here. The prompt perfect has been used. Original prompt, what are the things that make people buy products? Rephrase prompt, what specific factors contribute to the decision-making process of individuals when purchasing products? Like this is way more advanced prompt 
that we just did not even have to think about AI automatically knew what we were thinking about and it created this rephrase one. And then we again get the answer. So need or want, the most basic factor is need or want for a product like food or clothing, a want like a new phone or a problem that needs solving. Quality, the perceived quality of the product, price, brand reputation, marketing and advertising, social proof, convenience, emotional connection. Sometimes people buy products because of an emotional connection. Remember these factors can vary greatly depending on the individual and the type of the product being purchased. All right, I thought about this one. So let's do a question once again. Tell me about all the stuff that makes product successful. I found that sometimes it takes a little bit more time and sometimes it's super quick like this. This one was done in like 10 seconds. All right, so the original prompt. Tell me about all the stuff that makes a product successful. Rephrase prompt. Can you provide a comprehensive overview of all the factors that contribute to the success of a product? This one is a little bit shorter than I was expecting, but uh, we really were very general uh, in our original prompt, but it successfully added a word factors, which we did not include. We just, you know, we just wrote down the stuff because we just pretended like we didn't know um, anything about it. And then it gave us an answer and actually the answer is very, very, very good. Uh, solving a problem, uh, the most successful products often solve problem or fulfill a need for a customer. We then have quality, uh, value for money, innovation, ease of use. The product should be easy to use and intuitive. If a product is too complicated or difficult to use, it can deter customers. Effective marketing and branding, um, customer service, uh, good customer service can enhance the product experience. And then lastly, uh, adaptability. The ability to adapt and evolve is crucial in today's fast-paced market. Remember the importance of each factor can vary depending on the product and the market. It's often a combination of these factors that leads to products uh, success. This is great. I, I, I do love this answer. So without us actually, you know, using this plugin, we wouldn't get an answer like this. Um, and so this is what makes it super nice that you don't even have to know how to write the prompts. All right, and I thought about this one. I think it could be interesting to see something from another field. So and let's not do a question this time. Perfect. I am interested in how to become a an athlete. Let's go with this one. So here, what I would expect is that it's going to write down a prompt that is longer and it's also going to maybe include some um, important words that we potentially missed out on. All right, it seems like uh, this time we got an error. So it wrote down, um, I'm sorry, there, there seems to be an issue with the rephrase plugin at the moment. However, I can still help answer your question. Coming an athlete involves several steps and then it lists down seven steps that uh, we should go with. It seems like it's not 100%. And so maybe sometimes it just does not know if you are very vague. Like in this example, I was super vague where I did not even write down a question. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to try to fix this. So I'm going to reload the chat GPT. I am also going to go to a new chat and I'm going to start over and see whether we can fix this. Um, sometimes this, uh, this helps to kind of refresh it and start all over. So let me just write down um, the same stuff. Uh, perfect. Uh, I'm interested in the steps to become a professional athlete. Um, and as it's new chat, let's include, include um, the original prompt as well as the rephrased one. And let's see if we get an error this time. Okay, so right now it seems like uh, it started to work and it's finished. So if you get an error or something goes wrong, then try to refresh uh, ChatGPT and then you also try to open a new window and start all over from scratch. But just remember that then ChatGPT doesn't remember the previous conversation because you're in a new chat. So this is what actually uh, has worked for me uh, with other plugins as well. Yeah, this is a good tip for you. Sure, here is the original prompt and rephrased version. Original prompt, I'm interested in the steps to become a professional athlete. Rephrase prompt, 
Can you provide a detailed explanation of the necessary steps and requirements to pursue a career as a professional athlete in specific sport? Now let's answer the rephrase prompt. Becoming a professional athlete involves a combination of natural talent training and determination. Here are some general steps you might follow. Choose a sport, start early and practice, get a coach, play at school club level, complete the tournaments, stay physically fit, pursue higher education in sports, go pro, continuous training and improvement, handle success and failure gracefully. Remember the path to becoming a professional athlete can be different for everyone. It requires a lot of hard work, dedication and a bit of luck. So we did not even write down a question and it still got it. Let's do a question once again. So here I wrote down a question, but also a follow up small sentence that I uh, just randomly thought about afterwards. So let's see what happens here. All right. So what specific factors contribute to the significance of social media for a small business without any existing customers? Now let's answer the rephrase prompt. Social media can play a crucial role in the growth of success of a small business, especially one that is just starting out and doesn't have any customers yet. Here are some reasons why. Brand awareness. Social media platforms can help you introduce your business to potential customers. Customer acquisition. Social media platforms allow you to target specific demographics, making it easier to reach potential customers who are likely to be interested in your products or services. Engagement. Compared to traditional forms of advertising, social media marketing can be much more cost effective. Building relationships. Market research. You can use social media to learn more about your audience's interests, behaviors, and preferences. This information can help you make informed decisions about your products, services, and marketing strategies. Increase traffic, competitor analysis, crisis management, community building. Social media allows you to create community around your brand. This can lead to increased customer loyalty and word of mouth. Remember, while social media offers many benefits, it's important to have a clear strategy in the place. Now, this is what we are talking about, okay? This is a short, not specific question with the stuff that makes social media important, followed by whatever I immediately thought about um, afterwards, and then it analyzed it, rephrased it, and also answered it afterwards. And this answer is actually quite long. Also, quite in-depth answer to be honest. Now thank you so much for watching this video until the end. It means a lot. If you found anything helpful in this tutorial then give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to have more videos about tech and AI on your newsfeed. I post videos each week. Thank you so much and have a great day.